Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini, this is The Enchanted Planner, and today we are going to make a budget goals page for my planner. I'm really, no, I'm not really, I am moving on to sort of a cash-based system for budgeting this year, because my finances, they're not messy, but I don't really have a budget. <laughs> And uh, with the cost of living the way it is, I kind of need a budget. So I want to do a black and gold theme, but I don't really have any black florals. So this is kind of the closest I have, but I did pull out, I've got Mojo shapes because I think we're going to use some circles. And then I've got the colorful shapes book, which also has some circles in here. There's not a ton to work with, but there is some various sizes. Then I've got my letters book and then I've got the know your worth. So that's what we're doing, party people. Oh, and I have, I have this. Pulled out this. I, I've never used this washi. Literally cracked it to see what it looked like. So I think that's a terrible example. <laughs> I'll put it back on here. So I think we're going to do this one. And then this one has like these gold stars in it. So I think we might bring in some of those. I want this page, page pretty snazzy. I want it snazzy, if you will. So, how's everybody doing out there in planner land? I need some tweezers. Ooh, tweezers. They like always wanna run away from me in this damn cup. Oh, there everybody falls over. Okay, let's do this. We got tweezers, we need scissors. We need my hard ruler. We may, no, we won't need that, I don't think. Um, we might need that. And I think that's about it on that front. And then we will need the sticker squisher and the washi card and my planners keep falling over <laughs> i really need to attack my, my damn desk but i've had not really much time and then combined with i talked about this in an other video recently but i'm going to talk about it again uh both myself and Di have decided that in order to accomplish other things we want to accomplish, uh, we need to start thinking about cutting back on content on the planner channels. Not forever, just for now. Um, because her and I both have some pretty big goals for 2023. And I know for myself, some of these are goals that I've been carrying, like they're carried forth from 2022. Oh my gosh because I didn't get to them either, but I've got a very fresh perspective going in this year, <laughs> if you will. Um, so I want to elicit several big changes in my life. And that means I need to make room in order to bring those things in. So that's pretty much the gist of it. I will talk a little bit more in depth about it in the planner setup video for February. But I do want to just occasionally mention it to you guys because maybe you don't watch every video. Maybe, you know, you only catch every other one. So I just want to mention it a few times throughout, or throughout the course of the next couple of weeks. So January will be kind of a transition month and then February will start moving into probably four days a week of content, like definitely three, but possibly four. That's, that's the plan, people because I want to put a lot more things into my Etsy store. I want to um, totally overhaul my house. I've got house projects I want to get done. There's, <laughs> there's, there's quite a bit and there's only so many hours in a day when um, it really comes down to it. And the other thing too is, and this is probably a good thing to talk about, I have gotten quite shitty, <laughs> I'm gonna be frank, um, with my time management over the last couple of years. So I think this will be a good way for me to sort of put myself back on track because between having no routine whatsoever, really, over the course of the pandemic, and you add that, I need to get this guy onto a bond ring so this is not so annoying. Anyways, back to my conversation. We have a couple of years of the pandemic, which my... <sighs> I had no schedule, right? And I've gotten so accustomed to not having that schedule that I fill my time with other things. Like I spend a lot of time, don't get me wrong. Uh, this is, you know, what I was, we were talking about, I was talking about with Di, like for the most part, I'm always filming, editing, uploading. And then once it's on YouTube, you've got to do several other things. You've got to search for keywords and a few other things and then you've got to write up your descriptions and then you've got to hunt down all the links and it's it's a full-time job really on its own and you know it doesn't really leave me much room for anything else because I only work I only like to be at my desk from like six-ish in the morning until about six at night and not all of that is 
like work time. Some of that is literally me um, enjoying my morning routine, uh, just chilling out, maybe watching a YouTube video, what have you, or doing some administrative stuff, like, because you remember I still have a, a business on the other side that I run as well. And then I usually start filming like, you know, anywhere between eight and like nine and then I film right through and then it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> so this is why, and like Di and I are telling ourselves it's not forever, it's just for now because we are both um, very similar in our personalities, um, so similar and neither one of us likes change and we want to do all the things. But you can't do all the things. Oh yes, we need some numbers because I actually want to put... Of course my twos are gone on that one because I'm pretty sure I used these black letters for something else. I don't remember what it was. But of course with it, you know, being in the 20s, we use a lot of twos. Like last year was brutal. Anytime you wanted to use twos, you were using three of them, right? This year it's two, but it still eats up those twos. Okay, there we go. Oh, I could have probably brought some of these in in gold, I just realized. No, those aren't the right letters. Okay, I can't because I want them to be the same letters. So yeah, that's just sort of like a budget synopsis, not budget synopsis. <laughs> oh my God, I looked at the word budget and it came out of my mouth. Um, that's just sort of a quick synopsis. And, you know, I'll bring you more information when we go through the February setup video and I can have a little bit. I just, I don't have an idea yet exactly on what is happening where. So I can't really give you too much information on that part, like what days the uploads will be and whatnot. So I figured I'll mention it today, maybe in another video. And then... Um, you know, by the, by the time I do the setup video for February, I will have an idea and know what I am doing for 20, or for February. Uh, okay, hang on. I can't focus and get this washi straight, apparently. Or I can't focus and talk is what I meant to say. All right. Is that about? No, that is not about. Okay, that's about. Oh my gosh, what a... What a thing. Anyways, yeah, that's, I wanted to just guide, I like to give you guys a little bit of a heads up before I start making any dramatic changes. The other thing too is um, the analytics on YouTube have changed quite dramatically. So my upload times are very likely going to move to later in the day. And that's for a couple of reasons. It's partly, not all, but partly because of when YouTube is currently telling me all of you are online, but most of it is just timing constraints I kinda kind of need the wiggle room. So if I put it later in the day, you know, if I don't manage to get thing something filmed, I still can film it that day, edit it that day, and upload it that day without having to feel like I'm going to explode. <laughs> so um, I don't know how I want to put this. I mean, it kind of looks cool the way it is, but let's let's just get everybody all lined up. I need a line on the paper to work with here. Yeah but who knows by the time next quarter happens, I could be back to putting up content seven days a week. I just really need to address a few things. Partly some of it's my health too. Like I don't really even make the time right now to exercise because I'm like thinking I've always got to be filming and it's not just thinking most of the time I actually need to always be filming in order to keep up on the content that is going out on this channel. So that's kind of where I'm at, guys. But don't worry, I'm not going anywhere for long. I'll probably be, like I said, it, it, part of it too is I want to get content up onto that other channel and I can never get to it. The Because the content for the other channel is quite more involved. It needs to be planned and then I need my, you know, bullet point slash talking points and I need, th that's a lot more editing than just filming this way and going here, here's my hands. Right? What do I have to worry about on this side? Just making sure my nails don't look brutal. And even that I don't, I mean, my nails, I always like to have them done, but right now I'm actually very overdue for a manicure. But, um, you know, it's just sort of weathering the storm. Change is good sometimes. I need to program myself with that mantra. Change is good. Not all change is bad. <laughs> I, yeah, I adapt really well. Once I actually do things, it's getting to the doing part that is the problem because we become comfortable and that's what it is. I become comfortable and I don't really like change. Okay, so we have all of our budget. They're not exactly the straightest, but it'll give me an idea 
on how I want to lay this out. And there's actually a tutorial. If you've not seen me do this before, there's a tutorial on my channel that I will write down. I gotta find a piece of paper that's in uh, tips and tricks. Yeah, I will put the tutorial in the description. If you haven't seen it, there's a tutorial up on the channel that um, shows you all kinds of neat tricks that I use to make my planning life easier. And this wax paper trick is one of them. So if I put it, actually, that looks kind of nice. So I think maybe we will do that. I've got to pull it closer to me though. So hang on, I'm going to be a little bit out of frame for a second. So I want to see if I can, all, if I can get this all lined up properly. I really don't like how budget is sort of sitting. I don't know who it is that's wonky. Maybe it's the B. So let's line up the B. And then if we put this back, does it look normal now or do I have to fix some other letters? I think we have a bit out of whack here. Oh, I put these backwards. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe I did that. I don't know why I spelt out goals first instead of budget. It should say budget goals. You're probably all laughing at me. It's because I was trying to have like, you know, this heartfelt heart, heart conversation with y'all and I wasn't paying attention. So hold on. This is relatively easy to fix. I just, oops, we got a sticker stuck. Hold on. How did that happen? A little bugger, stay down. All right, so let's get back to our little friend here. So I can put the T back and then we're gonna lay these out in the right order. All right, so there's my, I'm like, that's not the right side. All right, so let's put in the 2023 first and we'll pull the wax paper out that way. And we're going to put, ooh, this is going to be tricky. We'll put budget next. And pull the wax paper out. My B is okay. And then we'll put the goals down. Like so. And then hopefully we're not horribly off center, but actually that worked out pretty good. Not too shabby. The budget is still freaking wonky though. So let's... Let's fix this because it will drive me crazy every time I look at it and they're not like straight. This, this G is what it is. Hold on. Big G here is crooked. <laughs> Still crooked. Sometimes these are so easy to work with and sometimes I find them challenging. So we'll put the E down and then the T. Yeah. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's it's gonna have to do because we gotta get this show on the road. All right, so I'm going to, I think, put this guy down in the corner, but how come I've got, what are, what are you? I don't know, it's like a bit of white out. Okay, so let's de-stick this a tiny bit. Although you're gonna take up quite a bit of space. No, we should be all right. We should be all right. Okay, we're gonna lay that down gently there for now because I also need to think about shapes. Because I thought the circles would be kind of fun and I don't use circles very often. I use hexagons quite a bit, but I don't think I've used any of the circles in this book. Nope, I have not. So <clears throat> that gives us something to work with. I don't really need ginormous ones. I kind of need like, maybe that's pretty big. I don't know why she does that. She goes from like this size to like double this size. It's crazy, man. Okay, so I think we'll take one of these guys and we're gonna lay that down here. OK, 
Okay, and then we're gonna go into the Colorful Shapes book. Where are my circles? Where are my circles? There's my circles. I think I lost the circles, man. Where'd the circles go? Okay, and then we're going to grab problem is going to come is I'm pretty sure mojo circles and these ones are the same size which is annoying like truly annoying like these these this size and this size are the same size like this is why we need a middle <laughs> we need a minimal show mojo we need a middle okay I'm gonna come down here no shit I'm gonna come over here I guess and then we'll take one of Oh, shoot. Actually, I could have done that in reverse. Hold on. Hold on. Let's take that guy off. Let's go to these ones. And then let's do it this way. Let's come in like that. Like that. Then don't really have a ton of room to work with. I don't really have a ton of budget goals either. So that's the other thing to kind of consider. Like I don't have a ton of budget goals. Ooh, these guys are pretty sticky for an old sticker book from Happy Planner. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, so if I move this up a bit like that, and then maybe we're gonna find a Nice basic black habit tracker. Ooh, journaling sticker book might work if I want to do it that way. So maybe we'll grab this one. Who is not fully cut. That was weird. I've never had, I've never used any of these, so. Poor thing. You poor thing. I think we'll come over here like that. And... Maybe one of these like this. I mean, that's pretty freaking little. Pretty freaking little. Okay, so I can be like one, two, three, four, five, six. Not like I said, this is for the whole year. So it's not going to be this light undertaking. Okay, what else have we got to work with? I don't want trees because it's not really Christmassy. I just want the florals because like I said, they're the only kind of dark florals I have. I mean, I have the black functionally chic book, but I have a plan for those other florals, so I, don't, I can't really use them. Okay, like that. Oh, you know what I didn't do is go into this Know Your Worth book, and I haven't really, really looked in here. So let's, let's see, we got quotes, we've got, -da 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 -da. those are weekly no spends. Oh, and a habit tracker wouldn't work anyways, because at the very most, it would be a month. <laughs> and I'd need 12 of them. So that won't work. Oh, I could have put one of those in. But I'm going to do the same thing in here. I hadn't really looked in the sticker back. Look at me. Oh, and there's hexagons too. Little savings jars. Monthly challenge. Lunch, breakfast, groceries. And then we got headers. More headers. Really, I guess the only thing that might work at this particular moment is a quote. <sighs> Do you want it or need it? That's a pretty good quote. I don't know if it'll work though, so let's take a look. Let's take a look. I don't exactly know where it's going yet, but it would work kind of right there. It would also kind of work there. I should probably put this on some wax paper so I can do this properly. So that's what it looks like there. Or if we put it down here, I think the first thing we're going to do is bring the washi in at the bottom to sort of finish off this page. Actually, I guess I should probably go this way. Let's see if I can get this lined up. Okay, there we go. Because once I get some of it down, it's a little bit easier to navigate to get it fixed. Okay. Oh, and it's still not right to the corner. God damn it. 
had it in a pretty good placement too, but it was not at the corner. All right, let's go along. I just don't like wasting washi. So I try to cut off as little as possible, but that's okay. All right, so this one, we're gonna come at on an angle like that. And this one, I'm just gonna hold the X-Acto knife down and get rid of it that way. Okay, that works pretty perfect. Let's put this back in so I don't kill myself. And then the white one is right here. And we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna slightly overlap it for a little bit of a, like giving it a little bit of depth. And then we're gonna come in here again on this angle like that. Actually, that was a little long. Let's get rid of that little tiny piece. Why didn't you cut through? There you go. Hold on. Oh, I gotta do the other side. Hold on. Hold, please. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you dizzy. Okay. All right, so we have the washi down. That looks actually really smart. Like, it looks pretty smart, man. Okay, so we have this quote. Mm. It's good in both places. <laughs> so good. What else we got? There's magic in saving. Pinch those pennies. Do you want it or need it? This is so hard. Okay, I'm going with my intuition. I think we're going to put it up here. So let's de-stick this a tiny bit and then let's get this guy laid in. Like right here. Are we straight? I think we're straight. Good. I'll squish everybody down when I'm done. I think I ripped the page a tiny bit. Okay. So I can either bring in more florals or I can put in like another maybe a couple of shapes. And maybe I'll use those as like little side notes. Wait a minute, there's smaller circles in black in here. I forgot about that. You're probably screaming at the... <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I forgot. Maybe we'll take one of these guys because I don't think they have really little in gold. Oh, they do. They have these teeny tiny ones. Not that I'm really all that sure what I'm going to do with it. This is horribly cut. It looks like it's a crescent moon. We can maybe sneak this in like that. Okay, so where's my sticker squisher? Somewhere here on the desk. All right, so I'm happy with the placement on this one. So we're gonna, gonna flatten that guy out. I'm happy with, this is always tricky when you do letters and stuff because you don't want to lift them up. So let's do that. And I'm pretty happy with these guys. So let's get that. How did I do that? I think I did exactly what I was trying not to do with the letters or the, yeah, the letters and the numbers with this. Okay, so now we've got lots of florals. Well, we don't have lots of florals, we have lots of circles. I'm trying to find something that might work right there. And I think those are too big, but what we do have to work with is some of these like, oops, some of these little pieces, which might look nice if I can get it off the page, peeking around the circles. And then we'll do that and we'll kind of like wrap this up. So this is going to be interesting. So if I do it like that, am I further had to just lift them up and put it underneath or do I want to cut it and use the little, I can't really use the little bits and bobs because they're going to be on an angle like that. So I guess maybe, can you hang out there for a second? It might be easier to see if this will lift up. Oh, the top of the ore is on top of that. So let's get you out of the way. Sorry, I realize I'm talking through my whole process here and it might be annoying, but <laughs> sometimes it's the way I have to work things through here. Okay, so I, I'm trying not to rip the stickers too. And these guys were the first ones down, so they're not going to be super happy with me lifting them up. All right, so let's lift those guys sneak you kind of underneath like so and 
then gently put everybody back down. Okay, <clears throat> then we have like these, these little sprig things. Like I know I wanted to stay more so in the black and white, but they're in the bigger. So we could probably pop like one of these out here somewhere. It's a little big. I can trim it down maybe. It kind of looks neat, like just popping out kind of like that. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Ay, ay, ay. My poor circles. They're like, why, mommy? Why? Why are you lifting us up? Because I'm indecisive and I'm having problems um, planning <laughs> ahead on this spread. Because what happens normally is I try and think like chess and have things planned out in my head, like three or four moves like ahead of you, like of where I am. So I don't have to lift up a ton of stickers all the time, but it doesn't always work. Okay, so that's kind of cute. We have this little sprig thing too. Is that in there? No, that's more just Christmas tree, I think. Oh no, it's in there. It's right there. It's right there. It's a good way to use up all these little tiny pieces as well, right? Okay, so let's de-stick this guy a bit. And then I think I sneak it coming out right underneath that circle right there. <clears throat> Just sounds like a little tiny bit of extra something something, right? I like stickers. I like to use a lot of stickers when I can get away with it, but I can't always get away with it. All right. Do we need anything else? I think we do. So I've got these larger pieces and I also have some more smaller ones. This, this nice big single one might look pretty good there or this with this one here because it's kind of the perfect size. The other one's a little bit big. This one might work really, really well. So let's let's have a look at you, shall we? If I put that in there like that, and I trim off the let's move it back a bit. So we have a little bit more white space. The only thing is, is with these being white, they're kind of hard to see. Although it's not as bad as what it was when I used them the last time, so. If we do it like that, we get a little bit of the berries and stuff as well. Okay, so, so let's get the X-Acto knife. And we're going to cut along the washi. Take that part off. And then we're going to trim along the spine. Take that part off. And am I good? Or am I too? I need to move it down just slightly. Apparently it's really hard to see with the white washi where the washi started or am I right? No, actually I am right on top of the washi. Okay. Then we're good in the hood. Let's lay that down. Then I have this piece here from what I cut off there that I can now pop in right about there, which also totally works. Okay. I think that is probably a wrap. <laughs> what do we think guys? I like it. Um, I have to sit down and figure out the, how to write my, fitness, my, my budget goals. But once I have them all done, um, you guys will see it in a budget flip through. I don't like that small circle. I don't like that. It looks like a crescent moon. Let's see if we can find a replacement. Or are they all badly cut? Let's see. Yeah, they're all badly cut, which sucks, which really sucks. Yeah, they all look like a crescent moon, a very small crescent moon. All right, where's my budget planner? Let's open up my budget planner. Ooh, how do you get dirty? You haven't been, you haven't really been out of my house. I don't really have this all set up yet, so where are we going to stick this? I think we'll just stick it in the front because I usually like to put my gold stuff in the front. I have to, I have to finish setting up my, my thing. It's, and it's mid month. No, it's not mid month. It's like the 7th of January today. The, I don't know what day it is. 
<laughs> I just like, don't know what day it is. It's all a blur, people. Okay, that is officially a wrap. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button on your way out. If you're new to our channel, drop us a comment down below letting us know your news so we can formally welcome you to our community. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Ciao!